Okay, so if you're any sort of content creator, you're trying to edit your very own videos, or you watch a lot of videos on YouTube, you know that transitions are a very crucial component of a finalized video product. And what exactly do I mean by transitions? Well, transitions can be defined in a video sense as that seamless kind of jump from one frame to another, which kind of distracts yourself from the harsh frame change and instead gives a more visually appealing kind of remedy to the video itself. So that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. I know a lot of people struggle when it comes to transitions, so I'm going to be helping you guys out. But if you guys do enjoy, you want to support me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And let me quickly talk about my editing pack before we get into the tutorial. Okay, so quickly before the tutorial starts, I want to quickly mention my editing packs that I have available right now. Basically, I have two different tiers of editing pack. We have my $5 editing pack, which is for beginners that only want to spend $5. It's super budget friendly and it has literally everything you could ever need for Fortnite montages, content, any other gaming montages, etc. There's a ton of motion graphics in there, subtitle presets, Fortnite presets. I'm going to leave you guys a link for that. But if you guys didn't see, I just recently released my 2024 editing pack, which is basically that pack, but updated. I have so much more content related stuff. So if you are a YouTuber and upcoming content creator, you definitely need to check that pack out. One's $5, one's $10. If you did buy my previous pack and you enjoyed it, I definitely recommend that you take the next step and buy the $10 pack. It's so worth it. But I don't want to go on any longer. If you guys want to check out the announcement video where I go over everything in the pack. Be sure to go check that out. That'll be at the top of the description. Links to both packs are gonna be at the top of the description as well. Let's get right into the tutorial. All right, guys. So once we're on our computer, we're just gonna open up Edge and we're gonna look up DaVinci Resolve download. If you haven't already, just download DaVinci Resolve. It's 100% free and you guys can literally download it with no issues today. So once we've done that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up DaVinci Resolve and I'll see you guys once that's done booting up. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna type in literally whatever. It doesn't even matter. We're gonna go here to our edit tab at the very bottom go here to file go to project settings and then change our frame rate to 60 as well as make sure our resolutions on 1920 by 1080 we're going to press save now when it comes to transitions you often have two very different frames that we're going to be transitioning between so let me just quickly grab that so for example i'm going to get this one video of me wearing a black hat and then i'm also going to be getting another piece of footage let's say for example a video of my controller for some reason they're two very different frames i just want to show you guys a bit of an exaggeration of a transition that way you can see the difference so let's imagine in our timeline this is where we're going to be utilizing uh, these transitions so what we're going to do is we're going to have two different video layers and the thing is when we come to play them we can see that there is a very harsh static transition between the two middle frames uh, on either side let me just shorten this down just so we have a little bit less to work with so perfect so we can see that we have this one video then we have the video of the controller it looks very static not very visually appealing that's where transitions come into play for this to follow along your you're going to need the sapphire plugins um i can't really tell you how to get them but you can either apply for a student license get them for you that way buy them or there are some other ways that you can kind of look up on youtube on how to do that um but yeah that's basically that so the first step in this process we're going to go to this middle frame between the two we are going to add a marker now what we're going to do from there is we are going to actually grab an adjustment clip and we're going to drag and drop it over the top we're going to have this middle segment um, where the marker is being covered by an adjustment clip and that's going to kind of span you know a bit of a duration and what we're going to do is we are actually going to go inside of it by pressing on the fusion wand here now this is where it gets a little bit advanced so i'm gonna need you to stay with me we're gonna press control space on our keyboard look up blur mode curves and press enter this is what's gonna allow us to actually make the transition um and i'm just gonna quickly show you at the very end how to do this for free um so if you don't have sapphire plugins you can install them i'm gonna have timestamps to actually skip through how to do this for free this is the better more effective way so we can see using our arrow keys we are on the two middle frames which is super important so we're going to start on the frame that the second clip starts at and we're going to go to blurmo curves and there are three different types of transitions there's z distance which is zooming out shift y uh, which is movement transitions left to right up down kind of thing and then there's rotation i'm going to be showing you z distance but it's the same exact process for shift x shift y rotate all that stuff and i have presets so you guys can use so you don't have to worry about copying settings so first one we're going to keyframe is z distance and if we're doing a zoom in we're going to keyframe it on 0.7 sorry 1.3 i don't know what i'm thinking right now now we're going to go one frame back and we're going to change that to 0.7 so the last frame of the first clip is what's going to be 0.7 the first frame of the second clip is going to be 1.3 change wrap x and wrap y to reflect now 15 frames before this we can see we're on we can see we're on frame 89 we're going to go to frame 74 we're going to change this back to one 
we're gonna go 15 frames after this 105 change this to one as well and then what we're gonna do is we're going to go to spline check this box press this little zoom thing control a and you're just going to want to copy this little graph right here. So we're gonna adjust these points just like that, we're good. That simple. Little zoom transition there, pretty seamless. Um, that's that, and it's 0.7, so it's not a really exaggerated, as exaggerated as it could be, but that's basically that. Now let me quickly show you how to use the presets that I have in the description. Um, for this, what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the transition pack and we're gonna add in a left to right, for example. So we're gonna drag that in. To connect this, just press shift, hold down, drag and drop. Um, now for this, the keyframes need to be adjusted. So bring up the keyframe menu, press this arrow thing. And we can see that the keyframes are right here. Bring that over, press the little arrow thing. And we're just going to line that up with the playhead and that should be good So there you go let me quickly change this to quarter resolution so you can see better that's our little left to right transition you can see it works really effectively um that's how you can use the presets there are a ton of them down there but now i'm going to quickly show you how to add a transition for free now if we were to do this for free without the sapphire plugins it's gonna be the exact same process but we're gonna look up transform transform xf and when you drag it in it's gonna say transform one now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna keyframe um size we're gonna make sure we're on the middle keyframe though so moving over i believe 89 yeah so 89 to 90 are these two middle frames here starting off on that first like very middle frame we're gonna keyframe our size at something like let's do a zoom out so we're gonna do 0.7 and then the frame before we're going to do um 1.3 so this is gonna be again a zoom in sorry i don't even know what i'm saying but we're gonna go 15 frames before so 74 changes to one and we're going to go 15 frames after you can see 106 we get 105 changes to one change the edges to mirror go to spline pick the box press this arrows same graph that i just showed you guys before uh but that is that this like this and just like that we're good so see it does a little bit of a zoom in transition so that's exactly what we wanted 100 free didn't need the sapphire plugins um it's the exact same process for swipe left right up down etc that's how you do that and uh yeah that's basically that go check out the presets i'm gonna have free ones as well as sapphire ones go check those out but if you guys did enjoy the video you want to support me make sure to like comment subscribe it means a lot we're so close to 100,000 subscribers so every single subscriber means a ton i hope you guys did learn something new if you want to go check out a tutorial i'm gonna have a playlist right up here of all my tutorials for you guys to check out so go do that i'll see you guys later peace out